So I had no money to make this thing. So I had to get really creative with it. So this is the Cthulhu you saw in a uh, little short I recently did. And I'm pretty happy I came out. But um, what he was made out of was pretty much nothing. He was made out of scraps, had to run the house. Uh, latex, paper, tape, some foam clay, stuff I'm gonna walk through here shortly. But uh, it's fully movable. You know, it got the job done. I like them. Um, but yeah, pretty much you can make stuff at work if you get creative with it. So, duct tape. Duct tape. Masking tape, painter's tape, cotton balls. I got them on, on a pretty good deal a while back. So I you know I'm able to use those, but tissue paper, plastic bags, paper, munched up anything pretty much that's lightweight that you can just kind of stuff inside things that are preferable. Latex, uh, paints, acrylics, and this right here, this will be your best friend, is saran wrap. <laughs> Aluminum wire, foam, foam clay, this stuff is awesome. Because again, it, uh, it's, very, it's pretty durable and being able to like sculpt out of it. And when it dries, it's very lightweight and it's really easy to paint on. How I made them. So I pretty much drew, drew them out on a piece of paper, which I no longer have because I had to use that paint over to make the backdrop for the uh, little galaxy thing you saw in the animation. And once I was doing all that, I had to toss it because you know what? I'm doing all the shit in my apartment. I got, don't got room for all this. So once I use it to its full capacity, gotta toss it out, but I kept him. But uh, yeah, so I pretty much drew this scale out on the paper, like arms, head and everything. And I used that as my template to build up the creature. So I did it in two parts. I did the head separately, then I did the body. When I did the head, I just took a bunch of paper, scrunched it all together. I used some uh, painter's tape, wrapped it up, kind of got the feet, no, got the mold for it. I took a piece of wire, which is what I use right here. I cut it, flipped it over the head, made it extend out long so I could attach that to the rest of the body. And I created Cthulhu's head out of that. The uh, actual tentacles were just individual pieces. I painstakingly like broke off and uh, taped up underneath the head to make the tentacles. And I wrapped that in a uh, masking tape. And I'll tell you why I use masking tape because that's easier to attach latex to. Uh, latex works pretty good. Um, any kind of latex will work. There you go. So from there, built them up, built them up. And I use uh, various paints, acrylic paints. You mix that with your latex and I paint the son of a bitch up and boom, had your Cthulhu. Wings were made out of clothes hangers. Um, the actual inner parts of the wings were no more than, again, saran wrap. You know, I laid saran wrap over the drawing and I pretty much painted the shape of the wings. I did about four layers of that, dried it, and it's pretty, it's pretty thick where it wouldn't tear. And again, that's the beauty about using saran wrap is that saran wrap, instead of like doing multiple layers of latex, you can, you can actually use, use cloth too, but saran wrap forms better over stuff. So, you know, when I made the uh, mold, the build out of Cthulhu, I, I saran wrapped the hell out of it and still be able to bend. And all that, I mix my paints inside the um, the um, latex because you can't, if you put the latex on, let it dry, and then try to apply the acrylic paint, it's just gonna peel right off. Even, and you, the number way to get around it is if you have to, you can mod podge it, but I recommend on doing that. It looks a lot better if you just mix in the, the uh, paints with the latex and paint accordingly. And that's pretty much how we got to Zulu. Um, yeah, the background was pretty much done with, um, Again, cardboard pieces and stuff. My fiance has some lights left over from a film school, so we're able to light it decent enough to kind of get the uh, dramatic effect we needed. Um, it was shot on an iPhone. I pretty much, you know, if you want to shoot stop motion stuff, you have no money. As long as you got some kind of recording device, preferably like at least a smartphone, and it has to be like one of the high end ones. Any smartphone that has camera capabilities, you know, just do that. So I do have stop motion app that I use sometimes to kind of test footage out. But for this, I just, we did the old school way. I just took a whole bunch of pictures. I would take a picture and move it, take a picture and move it, take a picture and move it, all right? And just do that until you get all your frames and shit and animate it. But I do have the stop motion on app that I kind of use to test things out. The problem with that is if you're using your smartphone and you don't have the, the lenses and stuff, 
and you try to do the video, the in video part, you're very limited on how you can uh, shoot this thing as far as like uh, wide angle lenses and all that stuff and lighting. You, you can't, you, you're pretty much at the mercy of what the built-in uh, setup is. So, but if you, do, if you use your phone and do a uh, picture mode and just take pictures of it, you can make all those adjustments with the lighting. You're still kind of stuck doing like either landscape or portrait mode, but at least you know you still have some range. And then after, you no, know, then obviously whatever editing program you use, we do have um, Premiere, so we're able to like upload all the, all the images on Premiere and cut it together and add music and all that stuff. So again, this took about a week. It took me a week to do from concept to actual finishing the thing. And what I'm doing is in between, cause we're still shooting like the feature that hopefully we'll, I'll be able to talk about that pretty soon. But I can't, I don't want to just like not do anything while I'm waiting on the feature. It's like being, you know, drawing, drawing pictures. You keep on doing sketches to try to get better and stuff. So I'm going to continue to do a stop motion every, every week, hopefully. And I'll put it up for you guys to see, you know, I hope you like it, you know, and please leave feedback. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys think of it. You know, any suggestions, any tips, what you like, what you don't like, hey, I'm here to, you know, listen. I'm gonna actually try to do more like how-to videos. I'm bad about recording shit while I'm shooting. I just, I just, it's hard enough to make all the stuff, let alone have another camera set up behind that and record. So I'm gonna try in the future to do more like behind the scenes stuff so I can do more visuals of showing you guys what exactly happens with this stuff. But for now, this video is more or less to tell you that, you know, you can make, stuff if you have no money you know and if you like i can do more in-depth videos with this stuff you know whatever that be on here hey patreon maybe who knows but um yeah i think that's it for this one so see you guys later